Huh. Did I just get a text message? I should head to the master suite. Ruben did send me a code to open this. bucket yet. Thanks to Kat. Well, that's a relief. I'm really glad you called me over. Have you found anything yet? The diagnostic has shown we're dealing with poison or venom of some kind. I examined Reuben for bite marks, but it must have been something else. What other ways can a person be poisoned? You might inhale it through gas or dust, but also absorb it through the skin. That's a lot of theories. What can we do now? Our best bet is to test the food samples you've collected. Oh, right. Mrs. Bird has kept them safe and cold in the walk-in fridge. Please, keep our visit a secret among the guests, Carla. But do let Mrs. Bird know that I'm doing better. Sure. I'll try to set her mind at ease. Is he dying? He's having a seizure. Help me keep him stable. <laughs> He's stable again. But it's only a matter of time. Forget the food samples for now. We need to detox Reuben first. All right, what can I do? We need to prepare a mixture from activated charcoal. My best bet is to ask Mrs. Bird for the ingredients. I'll keep an eye on Reuben. Say no more, Dr. Cat. First things first, I need to find the ingredients. The main ones are Okay, one of the items I need is activated charcoal. Looks like a mortar and pestle will be needed for this. Would Mrs. Bird still be in the kitchen? What's the matter, dear? It's Reuben. The poison is taking its toll on him. Dr. Cat gave me a recipe to... Oh, good lord! Let me see it, Carla. That's quite a list. I'll give you a hand with it, dear. What were you planning to get first? Is there any activated charcoal? Not much, I'm afraid. I believe Q has some stashed in the greenhouse. All right, 
I'll go look for it. Actually, I should ask Mrs. Bird for a mortar and pestle. Well, look who's here. I didn't startle you, did I? Not at all, Mr. Trainer. I'm just surprised to run into you here. Well, uh, I'm staying in the safari suite over there. Hey, have you seen Reuben? Um, I can assure you that Reuben is alive and recovering. So he trusted you over me? Ain't that just a kick in the head? With all due respect, can you blame him? And what is that supposed to mean? Mm. Mm. 
Why did you pick a fight with Freddy? I wasn't gonna let him insult Janet, that's why. I have been nothing but patient with that buffoon. That's not what I keep hearing, Jax. Oh yeah? And what is it you've heard? That you're involved with some questionable people. Who the hell do you think you are? I... I'm just trying to... How about you don't try anything? Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, or you might lose it. But I wasn't... I don't need to deal with this crap. Oh my. What was that all about? I should hurry back to Mrs. Bird downstairs. Okay, I got the charcoal. Do you have a mortar and pestle? Yes, I grind all the spices grown on Esperanza. It should be around here somewhere. I need to pour some batter. That's it. Now I just have to follow the recipe. Here, Carla. I've set everything up for you on this table.
I should weigh all the pieces first. Now, I should grind the right amount. That should do it. I have to hurry back to the master suite. I pray this helps my poor Reuben. Give him my best wishes, please. And Carla, find me again later. I have something important to share with you. Will do. Take care of yourself, Mrs. Bird. Sorry for the delay. I've got the charcoal mixture ready. Pass it over to me, quickly. Will this be enough? <laughs> it's enough to detox a basketball team. <sighs> we'll see the effects soon enough. Just have to... <sighs> you should really get some rest, Dr. Cat. I can stay with Ruben for a while. Yes, I suppose a power nap is in order. I'll be in my suite. Please call me in case something happens, okay? You got it. Hush now. I should soothe the parrot before it wakes Reuben. Maybe it'll calm down if I cover up the cage. The birds can sense the storm coming, too. Carla? Sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up, Reuben. Don't worry about it. I'm sure my schedule's open. I'll get some sleep later. I'm sorry your weekend turned out this way. Oh, no. It's not all doom and gloom. Portia told me about the fight and everything else. It's getting out of hand. Does she know about the camera footage? I'm sorry? Well, the Admiral and I checked the pool patio footage. It was either scrambled or missing. I hate to think that Lucas's death wasn't an accident, but... But it's possible. Damn it. I just don't know who to trust anymore. <laughs> Wouldn't you trust Portia to investigate? Not in our case. I'm afraid Miss Frost is too emotionally invested. And we need someone level-headed to make the right judgment call. 
What do you make of Admiral Wilkinson? He certainly has the skill set to figure this out. Although, his own motivations often elude me. Well, I'm no detective, but I've had a bit of practice at digging up the truth. I suppose you have no stake in the outcome, nor any reason to take a risk for me. If someone has tried to murder you, it's in my interest to find out who. All right, then. I trust you to be my eyes and ears from now on. But first, there's something you should know about me, Carla. There's a hidden stash in the study, which... I know. I'm sorry. I had to go through your desk for the security code. Oh, I see. Then could you bring me the green folder from there, please? Of course, Ruben. I'll be right back. It's too small. I can't tell what this is. Now this, Carla, is my greatest work. It's a vision of a better world. Some say it's a dream. I'd say it's a reality worth striving for. That sounds amazing. But what exactly is it? Truth is, it's the reason you were all invited to Esperanza. When the time comes, I'll reveal it to everyone here. Wow. I really hope that's soon, Ruben. So do I. I feel a bit drowsy. Would you mind getting cat for me? Will do. Try to get some rest. This project could be groundbreaking someday. I should take a photo.
Dr. Cat should still be in the Starship Suite. Well, isn't this a lovely surprise? Hello, Miss Saint Germain. Chérie, you really don't need to be so formal with me. We should be friends, oui? Especially with so much happening between these walls. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just saying that you shouldn't let your guard down so much. Last night, I saw Sam and Mrs. Bird sneaking around and whispering to each other. Did you hear what they were talking about? Unfortunately not, but they both seemed so stern and serious. It's a bit suspicious, don't you think, with all these accidents following us? Hard to say at this point. Well, I just want you to keep an eye out, Carla. I'll keep that in mind. I really have to be somewhere else now. Au revoir, chérie. We shall talk again. I should call Dr. Cat back to the master suite. Is... is Reuben well? He's okay, but it's best you keep monitoring his recovery. I'll check up on him in a minute. The worst is already behind us, I think. Hmm. Do you see my glasses anywhere? I was reading earlier. Don't worry. I'll find them. <sighs> I doubt Dr. Cat was reading in her closet. Thanks for helping out, Carla. Would you help me test the food samples later? I'd be glad to. It's about time we got to the bottom of that pesky poison. I was planning to talk to Mrs. Bird first, though. It sounded important. Go ahead. I'll find you once I've checked up on Reuben. Oh, Carla, how is our dear Reuben holding up? He wanted you to know he's much better and that you shouldn't worry. Ha! That boy is as strong as an oak. But I'll worry about him till the end. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me earlier? Yes, it's about Q. I don't want to confide in anyone else about this, not yet. Last night... Q saw someone going into the jungle. It was dark, so he couldn't see who it was. Maybe one of the guests took a late night walk? Well, yes. But what business would they have in the jungle after dark? No business is what I told Q. Not with all the creepy crawlies out there. What does your intuition tell you, Mrs. Bird? Someone means Reuben harm. I shudder to think they may be among us, Carla. Could be an intruder, too. But why? Reuben works on some important projects. I don't know the half of it. But that's why he lives on an isolated island and has... hand. 
Lucas. Hmm. Okay, I'll talk to Q when I get the chance. Will you join the others upstairs for now? I'll be serving lunch in a while. There you are, Carla. I've been looking for you. What's the matter? How's Reuben? He's doing okay. The medicine has kicked in, so he just needs plenty of rest. I guess you're ready to test the food samples then. Indeed. We can get this done before lunch. Do you still want to help? Of course. Mrs. Bird is downstairs. We can ask her about it all. Back already? Is everything okay? We want to test Reuben's food for traces of poison. You stored the samples, right? Oh, of course. I hid the lunchbox in the walk-in refrigerator. You don't have to go in, Mrs. Bird. I know how hard this is for you. It's okay. We'll find the lunchbox ourselves. Thank you, dear. I'd better carry on with lunch. Any idea where those food samples are? Yeah, there should be a lunchbox around here. I have the samples right here, Dr. Cat. Okay, then. I just hope we can prevent another tragic accident. Actually, would you mind examining Lucas's body with me? Whatever for, Carla. I suspect something else happened to Lucas, but I need to find more proof. Oh, my. All right, let's take a second look. Here are the bruised knuckles. 
There might be more clues on him than just this. I should look around more. He must have wiped the blood off his hand. He must have wiped the blood off his hand. The jacket is torn. Was he in a fight? Bruises on his knuckles look fresh. So I'd say Lucas had been fighting. Damn it. There were also signs of struggle by the pool. All of this suggests that Lucas's death really wasn't an accident. That, that'd mean there's a murderer on Esperanza. I hate to think of it, but we should face the facts. What if someone's trying to kill Ruben too? You may be right, Carla. This whole situation is too bizarre. I'll get a few photos for proof before we go. We should let Mrs. Bird in on the situation. She deserves to know. Did you find them? Oh, I really should have helped. Mrs. Bird, there's something we need to tell you. I'm afraid we found evidence that Lucas was murdered. Oh no, goodness me. Does that mean Reuben is in danger as well? We think he might be. What are you waiting for then? Check those leftovers for poison, please. We could utilize Reuben's workshop to run the tests. Yes. It's opposite the security office. Do hurry. That's the workshop. Looks like Ruben's installed an electronic lock, though. Oh, well, we'll just... We could just pry it open, right? And disable the mechanism inside. Not ideal, but very effective. Perhaps there's a tool in the greenhouse. Good call. I'll be right back. Ah, yes. I should search that toolbox. I don't want to break the door. Hopefully, this will help me unlock the workshop. Thinking, Carla. Let's head inside. So, where do we start? Hand me the food samples, please. I'll prepare them for testing. Thanks. Ruben said there's a Navarro Labs Unitest device around here. Would you mind finding it while I set up the samples? Er, uh, what am I looking for exactly? Right, sorry. It should be a small handheld device with a scanner. Just attach it here once you find it. Thanks.
That's the one. Just attach the Unitest device there. Okay, we're in business now. Are you ready to run the test? You bet. Let's find out what's inside those leftovers. You seem really excited about running this. To be honest, I've always been fascinated by forensics. We practiced it a bit back at journalism school, too. Really? Well, this is going to be enlightening. I've got this. How hard could it be? The analysis was successful. The analysis was successful.
The analysis was successful. Great. I've got the results back. Let me have a look at the results, Carla. Let's see here. All the results have come out negative, which means Reuben wasn't poisoned with food. I guess that's a relief, right? But what now? Uh, I'm not sure. Personally, I can't think on an empty stomach. On the bright side, at least we know the food won't kill us. Shall we head back to the dining hall for lunch? Sounds like a plan. Thanks again for all your help, Carla. Nancy! I've missed you. Can't say it's mutual. How come you look so glum today? You would too, if you'd drunk as much as I have. I'm glad I'm not in your shoes, Freddy. There's a lesson to be learned here. It's the only thing that I've learned is that I need another drink. Chéri, you shouldn't be so hard on him. I guess he's having a rough time already. Don't punish a man for things he can't control. As long as he stays conscious, we have enough problems already. I'll recover. I always do. I need to speak with Reuben. Immediately. I'm sorry, Admiral, but that's up to Miss Frost. Don't you have any power here? Go easy on her, Sam. She's still upset about Lucas's accident. It was no accident. What was that? Someone murdered him! What's all the commotion about? I'm not sure if you're ready to hear this. Miss Page, don't play games with me. Just spit it out already. We think that Lucas was in a fight before he died. Dr. Cat confirmed that there are fresh bruises on his knuckles. What are you saying exactly? Lucas didn't just accidentally slip and fall into the pool. He was pushed. What? I doubt there's enough proof for such bold claims. We inspected his knuckles. Lucas must have punched someone before the accident. And I found a bloody napkin in his pocket, so he still had time to clean up. Show, sure. don't tell. As grim as those photos are, Miss Page, you may be right. Is it possible there was a personal attack on Reuben, too? Well, we've been investigating and Miss Frost, I must talk to Reuben. Nobody is allowed to see Reuben or leave the island until we know exactly what's going on. No exceptions, Wilkinson. <laughs> you're a civilian with no authority over me. You should think very carefully about who you're speaking to. I have. Your title doesn't scare me one bit. This fiasco ends now. I'm preparing my boat for departure tomorrow so that I can get some actual help for Reuben. Hmm. For a high-ranking official, you sure are making a quick getaway. I suppose that's all you do back at the office. Think twice before you pull the trigger, Miss Frost. Next time, I will. Don't be selfish, Mr. Captain. Take us off this island, too. I'd like to leave, too. Please? It's... it's not safe. Oh, I think everyone would love to sail away from here. Someone has to take care of Reuben until backup arrives. I'd rather stay.
I think I'll stay and give Dr. Cat a hand. That's not necessary, dear. We'll keep an eye on things. Yes, it'd be best if you helped the Admiral on the mainland. I suppose so. The journey isn't going to be easy, not with the storm on our tail. And there's only so much space on the boat. I'll take two of you, but no more. Only two? That doesn't seem fair. A lot of things are unfair in this world, Miss Page. It's nothing personal. So what? We'll just draw straws to decide? Something like that. I think I saw some matches earlier in the foyer. I'll go grab them. That'll work. I'm getting Jax. Everyone who wants to leave should get a chance. Well, I won't interfere with your plans. I'll be downstairs. Miss Page, did you manage to get the matches? 
Yes, they're right here. But before you take off with two of the guests, I just need to ask you something about yesterday. Admiral, tell me what you saw on the camera footage. Miss Page, you really should work on your timing. No time like the present. You must be joking. This isn't the time or the place. We can speak afterward in my castle suite. It's right next to Mr. Wolf's. Now, for goodness sake, give me the matches. All right, then, folks. Pick a straw and keep it to yourself for now. The longest ones are your tickets off Esperanza. Miss Page, all of this was your idea, so you pick first. Excuse me. I'm gonna rest in my room. All this has been exhausting. That's everyone. Moment of truth, people. Show me what you've drawn. Typical. So much skill, so little luck. Best news all week. It is what it is. Bien. The wheel of fortune has turned my way. The decision is final. Let's not make a scene here, all right? Can I have a word with you, Carla? I guess we had to talk about Jack sooner or later, huh? Yes, I saw the whole ordeal in the garden. He needs to control his temper, or someone's bound to get hurt. Again, yes. I just wanted to say that deep down, Jax has a heart of gold. What about those shady people Freddy kept mentioning? I... I try to steer clear of Jax's business affairs. It's a lot. Just promise me you'll keep an eye on Jackson, please? Fine. But only because you asked me to. Thank you. I'll see you soon, Carla. I have to talk to the Admiral before he leaves. 